Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. No, we're not talking about Billy, not this week. Instead, it's Kyle Abbott who has stirred the pot to the point that young and restless viewers want to see him get smacked around. No joke, Claire's boyfriend managed to kill two birds with one big boulder when he stole the formula for a Jabot product in R&D, research and development, from his mother's laptop. Not only did he use the information to get Audra fired, but he also stuck it to his parents for firing him. Of course, this will all come back to bite him big time, and I'm already rolling my eyes at Jack pulling St. Clair into it. As I predicted, Audra will also play a role in Kyle's comeuppance. In any case, you have to give it to Michael Mueller, who plays his smug alter ego to the hilt. If he didn't, fans wouldn't be so riled up. Viewers either love or hate Sharon's storyline, and they can't get on the same page about her sidekick Cameron either. I have to admit, this week marked the first time I felt a little weary of seeing him pop up and harp on the same all, same all. These fans felt it too. At the same time, when Cameron hits, he really knocks it out of the park, to the point where one feels they just can't get enough of him. There have been young and restless fans begging for him to be undeaded. Why? His snark and one-liners are simply unmatched. His brand of delivering the unvarnished truth whilst Sharon rolls her eyes has made them a comic duo that some can't get enough of. Cameron as the dark angel on Sharon's shoulder will surely come to an end before too long, and even those who wished him gone might miss his candid observations, though none of us will mind seeing the last of that dirty, blood-stained shirt. The story continues to drive forward at a solid pace, and they're not resolving it too quickly, which I appreciate. Next up, Daniel's life devolves into a living nightmare, and we all know what that means. Phyllis will go scorched earth. When Devin broke the news to Abby that they'd lost their wedding venue and no others were available, who else? But Victor swooped in to save the day. Apparently, young and restless forgot that Devin was a billionaire who could fly the entire wedding party to any place on earth. Lest we forget, Eric Braden's Victor Newman may be 83 years of age, but he's still the biggest dog on this particular porch. Anyway, the mustache is playing his cards close to the vest and refuses to tell the bride, groom, or even the guests what or where he has in mind for the big day. Fortunately, Braden took to social media to drop what may have been a reveal. A series of photos with his co-stars in fancy dress suggest that the wedding may be held at what fans are speculating to be a freshly renovated Newman Ranch. In Related, I totally dug Lily confronting the Newmans about stringing her along, though I didn't love the optics of the younger woman being ruled by her emotions to end up in that position in the first place. I can't wait to see what she'll do next though I still suspect some variation of asterisk, this asterisk will happen. The opinions expressed within are my own. Please feel free to share your thoughts on this week's Young and Restless in the comments.